Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is going to be quite a short uh, video uh, this, this time because um, my main plan was to photograph kingfishers and I'm back at a reserve I was at uh, a couple of weeks ago and uh, in that video I did get a couple of shots of the kingfishers but I was mainly photographing little egrets and I've got stacks of photographs of little egrets so that's not the plan today. Um, so what I did is um, I got to this reserve at low tide and what that basically means is all the little egrets are off uh, on the mudflats fishing and it means the area I was in where the hide was or the hide is is a lot quieter so I thought there would be more chance for the kingfisher to come in because the little egrets are sort of quite big birds and they sort of, I won't say they scare the kingfisher but it's less likely to be around when there's loads of little egrets there. Now I did see the kingfisher, saw it about five or six times so that was great so the plan in effect did work However, the only trouble was that the kingfisher still didn't come close. It was way, way too far away. So I've got a couple of really bad shots of a kingfisher, to be honest. The kingfisher's tiny in the frame. I mean, it was lovely to see the kingfisher, and I was sitting there um, uh, having my lunch, waiting for it to get closer, and just to be able to sit and hide, watching the kingfisher while you're having your lunch. It's just fantastic. So just to be out and watching the wildlife is, is superb. So I'm not complaining. And what I did get, um, just while I was having my lunch, I threw my sandwich down really quickly because a fox came through. So I got some really nice pictures of a fox. And I think that's wildlife to a T. You never ever know what's going to happen. So my original plan is to photograph the kingfishers. Didn't get any of them. Or I did get a couple of shots. And I will put one up just to prove that I got a shot of a kingfisher. But it's rubbish to be honest. The kingfisher is way too far away. But in compensation, I've got some really nice uh, photography photographs of a fox so again I'll put them on this video and then um, a while after that it absolutely hammered down so thank goodness I was sitting in a hive so I've, fo uh, I've shot a little bit of footage of uh, just literally some mallards and some um, some little greaves uh, and, a, and a little egret uh, just in the rain and it was really nice because oh and there was a, a red shank as well so although um, it's not been a fantastic uh, photography um, day to day I have got some great fox pictures and I've got some reasonably nice footage of um, these wildlife in the pouring rain because the thing is, even though it's pouring down and we don't like the rain too much ourselves, the wildlife carries on regardless. So um, I've had a really, really nice um, morning stroke afternoon and what I'm going to do now is um, in the background there's a load of Brent geese and uh, we get the Brent geese coming to Essex uh, every October and they migrate in, I think, from Siberia um, and I will check that. It's either... Uh, Iceland, Iceland or Siberia, but our ones are Siberia, I think, and they wind over winter in Essex. And they come into the Thames first to eat all the eel grass, which is a really high protein grass, and then they disperse around the rest of the county. So um, I'm going to go down onto the beach now and uh, wait for the tide to come in and hopefully uh, push those, um, those Brent geese closer to me. Because at the moment, they're right over there out on the mudflats. Um, I can hear them in the background probably not going to pick it up on this mic um, but the Brent geese are here so you know it'll be a nice way to round the day off unfortunately the light's gone so we had really beautiful directional sunlight this morning now the, the light's a bit soft and cloudy um, and that's okay for the, uh, the little egrets actually because those the little egrets uh, they're white uh, waders they're like a small wader about this big and as I say uh, there'll be a link up uh, to my previous video about little egrets um, and they're like herons, but much smaller, and they're a pure white bird. So if the light's soft and cloudy, actually that low contrast light can work really well because uh, you don't overexpose the bird or underexpose the background. Now, on my previous video, I've backlit the little egrets and it looked fantastic. But the Brent geese, actually they're quite dark birds and they've got quite dark faces, so at, you really do need to have a bit of directional light on to bring the eye out, to get a little catch light in the eye and to and to illuminate that face. So I don't know that I'm going to get any good shots of the Brent uh, geese today. Um, I will come back probably because I sort of photograph them every year and it, along with photographing red deer it's the start of autumn for me really and I, I love the Brent geese on the Essex coastline. Um, so I'm going to go and have a look see if I can get any good shots. Uh, if I can't it's not the end of the world. I still had a really nice day. It's great to be out in nature. It was great to be eating my lunch watching the kingfisher even though it's a bit frustrating because it's too distant to photograph. And then, as I say, to get the uh, pictures of the fox, icing on the cake, and it's made the whole day worthwhile. So, um, yeah, very short video for today, um, but I hope you enjoy the pictures and the little video clips afterwards. Um, and, yeah, if you do enjoy it, 
if you can give us a give my this video a like that would be brilliant it always helps my channel and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel if you can consider subscribing that would be brilliant and if you do subscribe press the little bell icon and you'll be notified when I upload my next video so uh, thanks for watching uh, guys and um, I will speak to you on the next one